All right, I'm going to do a, an in-depth review of the North Star high-pressure pump. This is the two-inch version. I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, we just had a fire the other day about a quarter mile behind the house. Um, fortunately, the fire department was able to get it out. So, But in the meantime, we had uh, set our pump up, got everything ready, and brought the hose over um, just in case we did need to do something. Um, I also had set up some sprinklers out back. But um, the fire threat's over. We've got some more rain now. And before I put it up, I wanted to run it a little bit and get the hose out. I'm going to lay a, about 250 feet of hose out. And I'm also going to put this on. Something I threw together just to... Uh, test the pressure of the pump. So I'll go ahead and start putting everything together here. I don't like that this puts extra weight on the uh, on the pump manifold but I think a little bit of use won't hurt anything. Put the pressure gauge on there. Make sure that valve is closed. And we'll start hooking up hose before I hook it up to the well. You'll see why when I hook it up to the well. This hose is uh, stuff that I got for free. Um, some of it from a fire department, some of it from a uh, buddy of mine that works inside hotels. And uh, I'm grateful for him. All right.
Alright, so I've got about 250 feet of hose laid out, which gets me nicely around to the back side of the house. A big burn pile, waiting until winter time to burn that. first 75 foot of hose is inch and three quarter everything else is inch and a half alrighty I'm gonna hook the water up to the well prime the pump because it fills the pump up by itself. Because this isn't an emergency, I'm going to let the pump heat up for a second. It's already charging the hose. I do have the, uh, the nozzle open slightly. So I guess I had the nozzle a little more open than I had thought. Let's see. 